We're supposed to find the equation of a line given the two points, and we know that the equation needs to look in the form y equals mx plus b, which means I'm supposed to find my slope and my intercept. Starting with finding the slope, definition says that the slope is equal to the rise over the run, which is the change in the y values over the change in the x values of the two points, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And just to make sure we don't make any mistakes here, because it's very common that students make mistakes, in this area right here is by labeling the points. This is x1, y1. This is x2, y2. Now we can plug those points in. y2 is negative 3 minus y1, which is 5, divided by x2, which is a 3, minus x1, which is a negative 2. Again, if you subtract negative numbers, I suggest you put little parentheses around that. All right. Next, 3 minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8, divided by 3 minus or minus 2, which is a positive 2, which is 5. Negative 8 over 5 is the slope. So we can go ahead, plug that in here, and the equation now looks like y equals negative 8 over 5x plus b. The next thing to do is to find the intercept. And the key there is to take one of the two points, let's say negative 2 and 5, plug into y and x right here. So y is 5, negative 8 over 5. x is a negative 2 plus b. So we have 5 equals negative 2 times negative 8 over 5 is a positive 16 over 5 plus b. We now go ahead and move the 16 over 5 across the other side. We have 5 minus 16 over 5 equals b. Again, to able to subtract these, I have to write this over a common denominator of 5. So this becomes 25 over 5 minus 16 over 5 equals b. Or 16 subtracted from 25 is 9. b equals 9 over 5. I can go ahead and plug that back into my equation over here, which means that y equals minus 8 over 5x plus 9 over 5 is the equation I'm looking for. So here I have y equals negative 8 over 5x, and then instead of b, we wrote 9 fifths. And there's the equation representing the line going through those two points.